Now, I'm going to be tying a CDC Caris pattern. Uh, this one here. This is uh, basically a cinnamon caddis tied using two basically the CDC feathers wound up the body with a couple at the back for to represent the back of the wing. Now it's reasonably simple to tie. Now the hook I'm using is a short shank special size 12. Now this hook I'll show you. There we are. It's a size 12. It's a full mill hook. The, the shank is equivalent to a size 14, the gape is equivalent to a size 12. Now what we do is, let's put it into the device, tighten up. I'm going to use a light coloured thread, I'm just going to use a light keyhole. Start at the eye, and just work our way down, put a layer of thread. And then remove the waste piece as we go. Now we tie in two small CDC feathers. Now, the colour I'm using is cinnamon, a light cinnamon and dark cinnamon. I'll show you the two feathers, two colours. This is the dark cinnamon here, if I pull that together you'll see the colour. And this is the light. Now what I'll do is I buy a pack of white CDC feathers. I'll throw half the pack in to the into the cinnamon dye, the, the Svenier dyes I use, and allow the dye to take this colour. And then, while it's still in, I'll throw in the other half. And these soak up what's left of the dye and gives you that two tone colour. Now I like to use the two tone, it's much better. Now I'm going to use two small feathers, uh, use a dark and a light so that you get a nice mix, a blend at the back. They say try and find the small feathers, there is plenty there. Now, even malformed feathers like these are ideal for, for this. Now, the stems help to support the back of the, the fly. Now what I'm doing here is basically getting them so they're curving away from one another. You're seeing the underside of the feather and I want it flat. Now I pull the fibres together, tie them on the top, nice and tight with two or three turns. Just see how they're sitting. See how they're slightly curving away from one another. And then just trim away the waist, two thirds of the way up, that's your body length. And I'm just going to wax my thread and tidy this up, making sure these are tied on right. Come back up quite quick. To this point here. Just check my CDC feathers are sitting right. They look okay, so there we are. And then I'm going to use two, another cinnamon, dark and light. Both feathers the same length. Uh, the larger feathers are ideal. Uh, they get the, as you wind up, it gives you the extra length. As I say, I've got, try and get them both the same size. So I'll line them up, check the length first. Now the tips here, I'm going to basically draw back these fibres and tie these in as part of the, the wing at the back as well. So what you do is come up two or three turns, screw them on, and then fold back these. Now what I'm going to make sure, make sure you wax your thread and that you've got plenty of grip. Just draw them back. Now, I'm going to show you once I've made sure these are secure, you'll see the top of both of these CDC feathers. And you want the natural fibres to lay towards the back. Now, just to tidy the body area up, I'm using a cinnamon coloured dubbin, natural dubbin. I'm just going to lightly dub it onto the thread and work my way up. Take your time. This is just basically to say to tidy the body area up and it helps control the, the two CDC feathers. Now when I wind I'm going to wind both of these together, hold the tips and draw back the fibre. Just as you'd wind a hen hackle, you would draw back these and wind one touch, one turn in front of the other. But in this case I'm obviously winding up a body. Just work your way up, drawing back these fibres. Now if they do get tangled up, you can bring them out with some velcro. Now what I like to do is make sure I get as much out of these two feathers as I can. So as you can see, I'm making sure the fibres are drawn out. Hold the, the two hackles as you wind. And the, on the hook, just pinch both the feathers. Now you may have to come slightly onto the thorax area and do that. Catch them both in. Nice and tight. Now. Watch, don't catch too much of this fluff at the back. 
They're not the easiest feathers to work with. Now make sure there's some wax on my thread at this point. And make sure you've put a good few turns in so it doesn't sit and unravel. Now watch, you don't catch your thread. Just lift these two up and trim them away. Anything going forward, draw it back. Now I'm going to make sure this is tied in. Now I need to trim a couple of bits of the stem away. The stem is really thick on CDC feathers, so there we are. Now we can tidy this area up. A wee bit more wax on my thread. Now make sure you want to come back enough to form the thorax. That's fine. Now the horns. It's up to you where you put these on. I'm just using some golden pheasant. This is a tail feather. I'm just using two fibres for the represent the horns. Just tie them forward of the eye. And then just pinch a loop on the top. You can sort these out when you once you've finished the flight. Make sure they're secure. Trim away the waist. See how they're sitting. It's alright. Now I coat these with UV resin, just a light coat to the set of light flexible UV resins, there's many out there. And you could, the one I use is Bug Bond, so that's the light version, it's really flexible, so you can just coat these and they'll last that bit longer. But the, the fly will still catch whether they come off or not. Now what I'm going to do is use my Velcro, making sure these fibres are all out. Now I'm going to trim these fibres once I've finished. But I'm going to go back to my cinnamon dubbing. Just any sort of natural fur. Or use whatever you have. I mean you can even use the CDC feathers again if you want. Just lightly dub it on. And then form your thorax, just winding, tighten when you need to. And now uh, what I'm going to do here is run the thread through it as well. Just stick away the dubbing, add it when you need to. This will secure it all in. Just get towards the eye, take away the excess. And then just take the thread in front. Just lift the horns. Any fibres going forward, just draw them back with the thread. And then, quick finish, sold the horns back, three to four turns is enough, trim away a thread. Now, it is easier to trim the wing when you're uh, off the hook, but I'll try and do it so you can see it. You want this to taper up. Just like a GH sedge, you're really trimming it like a GH sedge. So you come up, use a straight pair of scissors, and trim away. When the fibres different lengths, all the way up. Take your time. Now, what I'm going to do is try, I'm going to try and show you how to do it. Just use your fingers, use my fingers, so I to get the shape that I want. Underneath, just trim it away. Roll the fibers just so that they can. You can pull them out and see where you are. Now, what I'm going to do before I do anything else here, just watch your horns. Brush out your natural dub. Then I'm going to have to take it off so that I can uh, basically do a better job with the cutting. So see what I like to do is just hold these fibres, finger and thumb, push them in and then trim. Just using my fingers as a, an aid to the scissors. Don't have to be too fussy with it. And what I'm going to do is trim this quite straight underneath. Pull away. See what you're doing. 
So see, you can take a wee bit more time. Don't, the fish is going to be too fussy with the shape, as long as it gets the colours. Now, there we are. It should be round about right. You can still do a wee bit more to it, but... That's your caddis shape. Uh, so you always want, will miss one or two. The tips of the CDC feathers gives the shape of the wing and the support at the back that you need to keep the fly up. And uh, as I say, just what I do, I'll show you that I've got a light UV resin here. Just going to put it onto my finger and then just put it onto the horns. This will protect it. And uh, the, the bug bond is flexible. Now all I have to do is set it. Underneath as well. And there we are. And that's your cinnamon cardus tied with the CDC feathers. Nice fly. Great fun to tie. So once you've tied a few, you get the shape that you like, the box will soon be filled. So I hope you enjoyed that.